Here we have the Real Link uh, 16 channel NVR, and we have 14 of them in use. Um, we can have up to 16 cameras. If you don't have all the cameras connected uh, to the unit, it'll just say video loss down here. Um, but for our property, we have 14 cameras set up right now. And it's been a really great, reliable system. We've had this for almost three years, and it's pretty much always worked just fine. Um, you know, you've got your, your recording unit. I believe it records continuously um, until it fills up, which I believe is about, a, it's about a week. We were able to go back in our cell phones and see replays and whatnot, which was one of the main reasons I got this particular setup was the cell phone app, the mobile app is actually really good. There's minimal lag, there's minimal delay in bringing up uh, the system. And I think one of the reasons is it's PoE setup, which means powered over ethernet. So all these cameras are wired through ethernet cables. Um, the one downside, if you have a, a rural property, if you have a country property and you have to run ethernet cables, um, for example, we have a front gate and we're unable to set up a camera way out here because of the distance from the house with power to the end of the street where there's no plug-in for power. Um, so this, this 320 some foot driveway, that was the only downside to this unit um, and to having this kind of power supply. But other than that, it's been really great. Um, we do have a couple of uh, transmitters. There's a transmitter outside that allows us to connect power, uh, for example, to our remote workshop and you can see um, the cameras facing that way. This is a pretty good distance from the house. I like the ability to mix and match different screens. You can drag things around if you wanna move different orders. Um, you can have it play through. Here you can see it doing, it's actually under the start tour. It'll play through the different cameras. Um, so that's pretty cool. We've got it set up all different angles around the property and it does a good job of being able to see these at night as well. Um, the infrared is, uh, is actually pretty good. And that's, that's saying something because <laughs> our um, property gets very dark at night with having just one little street light out front, um, really no lights in the back of the property. And you can see that, you know, the picture quality is really pretty good. Right now it's foggy. Um, so it's, it's not the sharpest right now, but yeah, you can see different screens. And again, like I said, the, the big thing I really loved about it was the quality of the app and being able to check on our home from the mobile app with ease and, you know, see different cameras. I can go back and select playback and it's very easy to navigate through the system. Um, like I said, you get about a week's worth of recorded footage and for my taste, I think the, the picture quality is just fine. Um, I was actually impressed that it was this good because I've had other cameras before that were a lot cheaper and ran off of batteries and they ate the batteries constantly. So if you're looking for more reliable setup, um, you don't even have to have the Wi-Fi could be, could be out. It'll still work. It's just the power supply has to be on. That's it. So great stuff.